After volunteering and processing us, we uh, we were sent to this uh, language school uh, located in Minnesota. Now, all this uh, school was a classified information uh, at that time. They, no one knew that they were having this uh, language school f for the, to train the Japanese uh, second generation people, uh, actually train them for, to ship them over to the Pacific to pr interrogate Japanese soldiers. And uh, <coughs> the school, uh, uh, the school lasted for six months. During the six months of training, the main thing they trained us for, well, in in my case, I didn't really know how to, I could read and write very little. We were trained to strictly t teach us military terms and uh, trained us to interrogate prisoners. After completing the six-month course, uh, we were sent down to Camp Shelby, Mississippi for our basic training. I guess we took the physical on a Friday, told us to come back on Monday, and we went back, and that's when we I had contacted the Army Japanese Language uh, Training uh, Center, whatever they called it, and uh, asked whether I could uh, enroll in their classes. And boy, I've never seen the mail come back, flying back. <laughs> they sent me a, a letter saying, yes, you're, you're, you're going to be accepted. Uh, we have contacted your service command, and uh, you will get a notice to report. Hell, in 10 days I was in the Army and, and went off to cold Minnesota. They were training us to get us ready so that when the invasion of Japan by U.S. troops uh, happened, uh, there would be enough people to be assigned to companies and battalions and divisions, you know. There was no specific training outside of uh, uh, translating the officer's manual. The, the thing that teed us off of, uh, during our training period was there were colonels and majors and, <clears throat> and captains, Caucasian, that have trained in Japanese in, uh, in the university programs, you know. Uh, they were sent in and we were sent, matched together to help the officers uh, in uh, the various Japanese terms and this and that. And, and I thought, God damn it, why the hell am I trying to teach a colonel how to say something, you know. But uh, that, that didn't last for very long. I don't, I don't think it worked. Uh, there's two days of, uh, of uh, all kinds of tests they give you, uh, and uh, written tests and, uh, and uh, code tests. This is dots and dashes. And uh, finally, on the second day, I, I went the, uh, the final Exact, no, final uh, uh, determination whether the army wanted you. And there was a captain uh, uh, who I, I sat in front of, and he was a medical officer. And he looked at my papers and he says, what the heck you volunteer for? I said, uh, why not? He says, uh, you guys are getting killed over in, over in Italy. Why do you want to go out and get killed? This, especially when the government has incarcerated you in these camps. You have no obligation to volunteer. 
If you get drafted, just like my mother said, if you get drafted, that's one thing. Plus, he says, won't you sit this war out? I said, no, I want to do my part. He shook his head. He said, I can't figure you guys out. So that's what started my <laughs> military career, starting as a buck private down at the bottom of the, the bottom of the list and ended up at Fort Snelling. And uh, of course, that's quite a, quite a change uh, from California with the snow. And there were, uh, I would guess, about half of the class uh, uh, were from Hawaii. And that's where I met the Hawaiian Japanese. First time I, I met, uh, uh, well, let's see, I don't think I ever met any until, until that time. And uh, so I uh, spent there, got, got uh, six months training. And uh, we were, this was in uh, 45 when we were ready to graduate in June of 45. We were ready to graduate and uh, we knew because we were monitoring Japanese broadcasts. And uh, we used that as a training. We'd uh, listen to the Japanese broadcasts, translate it into English uh, as a translation exercise. So we could tell uh, by the, uh, by the uh, uh, Okinawa and so forth being invaded. The next was the invasion of, of Japan. And so we knew that the war was about to end. All of us wanted to go to Japan. So, uh, uh, and we were slated to go to the Philippines and then Okinawa and then on to Japan uh, as soon as the uh, Japanese surrendered. Uh, let's see, I think, yeah, I think at that time we were already, already uh, uh, heard rumors of, uh, of uh, Japanese ready to, and the thing that was holding it up was the uh, unconditional surrender part of it, where they had to surrender everything completely, even the, even the emperor. So uh, we sort of knew this, but Washington knew this too. And they sent a request to the school. We want to double this student body because we're expecting during the occupation we're going to need Japanese. By the way, uh, there were 6,000 of us that went, went through the school there. And so uh, they needed instructors. So my grades were good. So I got stuck on the list uh, for the instructors to teach the, the new batch of, uh, they were drafting, by that time they were drafting the students, forcing them to come, come learn. <laughs> I was starting my senior year in the fall when I got an order for becoming an active duty again as a corporal, and I was assigned to the 442nd Regimental Combat Team and uh, down at Camp Shelby. And, uh, I spent a good uh, seven, seven months training with them. And uh, they were then ready to go overseas. When they moved out, we stayed, the 1st Battalion minus the, all the enlisted men, and the sergeants all stayed behind with the officers and uh, started training the uh, uh, replacements for the 447. And I just said, but when this unit, uh, so-called battalion, which is a training battalion, ever gets ready to go overseas, I'm going to have to go overseas. So uh, they just so happened that the uh, recruiting team came down from Fort Snelling to the Military Intelligence Service Language School. My parents both came from Japan and naturally our conversation with the parents was in uh, Japanese. So I was uh, at least uh, familiar with the conversational Japanese. I volunteered for this language school and I was accepted and I went up there and I spent nine months training in Japanese, military Japanese.